Uh, the Bureau's key mandate is to uh, uh, develop uh, standards and uh, those standards are national, they are regional and they are international standards. Uh, once we develop those standards, we also do promote them uh, to the industry. Uh, as you are aware, standards are critical in industry for competition, uh, but also to support the industry in innovations and product development. Uh, so the Bureau has uh, done a lot of investment in terms of uh, setting up this uh, uh, infrastructure, laboratory infrastructure. We have uh, a state-of-the-art laboratories at our headquarters here in Buyogerere, and most of these laboratories are international accredited, meaning that once we do the analysis and test the products from Uganda, they can be traced internationally uh, for that uh, safety. Through the testing department, UNBS offers testing services for both locally manufactured and imported products to determine whether or not a product conforms to the requirements specified in a standard. Currently, UNBS has four laboratories which include chemistry laboratory, electrical laboratory, microbiology laboratory, and the materials and engineering laboratory. This department consists of laboratories, as, as, we, as we in the name, the test. Uh, we have uh, two categories of laboratories. We have the food safety laboratory, which consists of the food microbiology, or generally the microbiology laboratory, and then the chemistry laboratory. Then we have the engineering laboratory, for which we have the materials laboratory and the, the electrical testing laboratory. Microbiology laboratory, we are able to test uh, quite a number of products. However, for us, we categorize uh, these products into two food and non food uh, products. Under food, we can uh, test cereals and cereal products, we can test fish and fish products, we can test uh, meat and meat products, we can test uh, water and rated products. That's under food. Then, under non food, we can test uh, cosmetics and related products. We can test our face masks, we can test our diapers, we can test, uh, we can test sanitary towels or pads, uh, we can test uh, toilet paper and related products, as well as sanitizers and related products. The chemistry lab is internationally accredited by the South African National Accreditation System and uh, to the standard ISO IEC 17025 which is a general requirement for competence of testing and calibration labs. So by being accredited, it means our test results will release are internationally accepted uh, to support export and also to support decision making and also initiative of facilitation of trade basically in general. Uh, we also offer uh, proficiency testing services. We are proficiency testing providers for the ESC region, for the gene and uh, edible oils but you also support the local industry the, the labs uh, locally by also offering interlab comparison samples and uh, these samples are used for people to benchmark and they evaluate themselves as regards to their performance in analytical work because in the preparation of the samples we use materials of known content uh, which we homogenize and distribute to the participants and uh, they send back results for evaluation and the performance uh, is evaluated and uh, they, are, they always do a root cause analysis in the case the performance is not good. So we also train. We've been training uh, different stakeholders locally here, regionally and internationally. We've hosted uh, different uh, participants uh, all over the globe in training and analytical skills using the security equipment we have in the areas of veterinary drug analysis, in the veterinary drug residue analysis, in the various foods and non-food products, and also in uh, areas of pesticide residue analysis in the various foods, and also the aflatoxin analysis using the equipment we have. Uh, here in the lab, we deal with construction materials, industrial products, uh, domestic products and appliances. Uh, today, I will share with you what we deal with in construction industries, basically steel and cement. 
you realize these materials are very essential in the industry. And when the quality is compromised, they don't deliver well in the application. You had cases of collapsed buildings and the originator could be the quality of the products used uh, in spite of the workmanship. So when we test for strength, we determine whether they meet that requirement. And to test for that requirement, we have equipment such as this universal tensile testing machine. This cut piece is put between the jaws and pulled to breakage, to failure. And we can tell at what point it starts to elongate, what point it's going to become plastic, and at that point it breaks. So we can determine how strong this material is, whether it meets the requirement or not. We have other things like clothing, textile, leather, we do tests, papers, plastic materials, chairs, all these furnitures, we test in this laboratory. Uh, we assess them for quality. All these are based on prescribed standards. While we test these things, we are actually not judgmental. What we are doing is we are trying to help the industry and give them a feedback on what possible they can do to improve on their quality. So when it fails a certain characteristic, we liaise with them and try to help them improve on the production process and the delivering of a good product. The cables are very important part of the electricity sector because we use them for movement of electricity from the source to the load, even within the appliances. So one of the key parameters is to determine the cable size because the cable size is help, it's what helps us to determine the current carrying capacity or the power that the cable can adequately carry. So in this lab, we also determine the, the insulation level levels because when the cables are deployed in equipment or on a transmission line, they have to be protected from the users because of the high voltage they are actually carrying. So because of that, we also perform insulation testing. So in this lab, we have this equipment. This is a voltage generator, which we use to generate lethal voltages to test the insulation because the insulation should be able to handle the current current capacity at optimum conditions and at fault conditions. So we subject it to a high voltage for a very short time to determine its voltage width standard. Can the cable insulation or any other insulation on the material be able to withstand? In this lab, we conduct testing of our domestic appliances like uh, fridges, fans, lamps, some uh, blenders, and any other appliances we use at home, microwaves, rice cooker, so we conduct their testing in this appliance lab. So we check for the features of safety. Is it safe for you to use at home and your child? The rated capacity, if it's a power rating, we check, is it the rated capacity as declared on the labeling? And then also the operation, is it working as it's clearly indicated? So we basically check for correct operation, correct application and safety of the equipment especially for household equipment. Our next focus is to make sure that we decentralize these laboratories to other regional offices in the country. We are already moving to Gulu, uh, we are moving to Mbale, and we are moving to Mbarara. We have already uh, acquired the land uh, in Mbale and Mbarara, and we are in the process of mobilizing resources to be able to set up these laboratories there because we want to make sure that this uh, quality infrastructure, especially the the laboratory infrastructure is fairly distributed across the country because as you are aware uh, the economic activities in terms of value addition processing manufacturing are now spread across the country so we believe that uh, ultimately in the medium to long term we should be able to reach all parts of the country to be able to provide this critical service of laboratory testing services to make our product very competitive locally and internationally but also to consolidate on the protection of our consumers to make sure that all products put on the market have been quality assured through our laboratory testing.